Over years, we had big improvements to the two render engines of Blender, Eevee and Cycles. New depth of field for Eevee, better subsurface scattering for Cycles, motion blur integration for Eevee and a whole rewrite for Cycles, known as Cycles X. What is next? What if I told you that the next step is a new real-time engine called EV Next? Let me tell you everything we know so far about this huge rewrite of the EV real-time engine. The first improvement in this new engine will be a new way of drawing shadows called virtual shadow mapping, which means this increases the resolution and sharpness while using less memory. You can see this implemented in Unreal Engine 5. We will also get a new subsurface scattering algorithm which eliminates light leaking between objects and has a support of per pixel radius. We will also get a high light count support um, which means there will be no limit in light sources you can have in your scene. We will also get support for the panoramic camera, which means the camera will render six images and then merges those into a panoramic image. We will also get improvements in the motion blur because we will get the shutter curve support so you can control precisely how your motion blur looks. Also a big improvement will be that we will get a grease pencil object support. So this means grease pencil is now treated as other geometry and fully compatible with the shading pipeline. Which means you can probably use the normal, the normal shaders like glass or uh, diffuse on those grease pencil objects. We will also get overall improvements in the shading which means the BSDF shaders can be used now without major performance increases. The next improvements in the next render engine of Blender will be that we will have a thickness output. I have no idea what this will be look like precisely, but this is a new output for controlling this thickness for translucency, refraction and volume shader. The last improvements will be in the render passes those will be rendered all at once. Some other big improvements in this new engine will be that we will have a better depth of field when we render panoramic images. We will also get a parallax occlusion mapping, which means we will get the shader displacements from cycles. They are now possible also in the new EV engine. This is really amazing and I'm looking and I'm really looking forward to this. We will also get, get objects base volume, which means currently you are, if you're using a sphere in EV and you apply a volume shader, you will get also a box, which means EV is not respecting your object space. This will be improved in the new EV engine. We will also get overall ray tracing support including denoising and multi-bounce support. This will be really interesting. We will also get a world light extraction. This makes that your lighting looks more closely to cycles. So the world lighting, so the environment lighting. And the last thing will be we will get, we get maybe a grease pencil info node in the shader editor. Another big integration along the new engine is the integration of Vulkan, which replaces the old OpenGL. But what is the release date of this new rewrite of Eevee called Eevee Next? There is officially no date for this release, but I personally think not before the Blender 3.7 version. It may be even a big candidate for the next big 4.0 release of Blender, but maybe I'm wrong and it will be faster in your hands than we know. But either way, the future of Blender will be very bright. But before you leave this video, let me show you my material pack for everyone that wants to use quick every type of materials in your project. There is also a free version of my material pack and you can check it out by clicking in the link in the description of this video. As said, there is a free version of this material pack. 
And thanks for all that watched the video till now and have a great weekend. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you again. Bye.